So chat GPT is the newest craze to take over the internet. It's even hard to even log on to this platform because it's so popular right now. So I'm going to talk about how realtors can use chat GPT to create unlimited content, generate real estate leads and grow your real estate business. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharming, your real estate marketing expert. I'm a realtor and a marketer with over 15 years of experience in web design and SEO here to help you grow your real estate business through real estate marketing. And if you're interested in topics like this, go ahead and give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I have videos and trainings coming out. So let's dive into this super popular topic right now, chat GPT and how we can actually help you grow your real estate business. And I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started and do something very unique. This is a very impromptu video today because I want to show you the power of chat GPT. All right. So I want to give just a quick intro to what chat GPT is and basically it is exactly what it sounds. It's a chat software. And I'm going to show you some ones that I've already done just to save time because I don't want this to be a super long video. And I am going to dive into more uh, concentrated topics, more kind of workshop type stuff uh, about how you can use this to grow your real estate business and write amazing content um, and use this to its fullest capability. So a couple of things to notice here is there is a chat box down here. So you'll just go to here. Here's the URL chat.openai.com forward slash chat. I'll have it down in the description below. And basically you're just chatting. So the way I like to think of this first, let's figure out what chat GPT is. So I just literally asked it, what is chat GPT? And it responded, it is a large language model developed by OpenAI. It is trained on massive amount of text data and is able to generate human-like responses to text inputs, such as answering questions or participating in conversations. It can also be fine-tuned for specific tasks, such as language translation or text sum summarization. So basically, you can ask it questions. It can do anything you need it to do. It can translate into other languages. It can write emails for you. It can write text messages for you. You can even connect this to your mini chat or chat bot, and it can answer client questions based on parameters. Um, you can write blog articles with this. There's so much you can do with this. And then, um, then I even asked it, how can this help real estate agents with content creation and generating more leads? It basically can help you write uh, high, high quality content that's engaging for your listings, your blog posts, your social media posts, other marketing materials, emails and text messages. You can write video scripts with this for your YouTube, your TikTok videos, and I'll show you uh, that here in a second. Property descriptions, generating neighborhood descriptions, lead generations uh, by automating a few things. So one thing that is to note about all of this is that right now, I mean, this doesn't replace marketing professionals or copywriters. You have to be careful of the content you're getting. This is not connected to the internet. Um, it's not being fed by things on Google, according to them. Um, so this is an AI technology. It's just like kind of like a human as we're learning and we better ourselves, so is this. Um, and when you're using this content, you just take it at face value, reword it. But I use it to give it information to write better content. And I'll give you an example. It doesn't know me, so I tell it to write a, um, a biography about Jacob Shireman. It doesn't know me from anybody. So what I did was I told it to write a biography for me for a website. So I gave it that parameter, what it was for, my name, and my background experience. I gave it my, my background experience. This is currently what I have on my website. And I wrote out this pretty amazing content but I fed it the information. So it's just rewording it for me. If not, you're going to get a lot of generic responses. So that's how you can practice using it to create pretty unique content by making sure that you give it all of the information. In the beginning, I wasn't using this correctly. I was just like, write a blog on five tips on buying a home. And it would write like a short little couple paragraphs. And I was like, that's it. But I didn't tell it how many words to do and what style and whether I wanted paragraphs and bullet points or all paragraphs or the writing style. I mean, heck, I even saw somebody do it where you can say, write it in the voice of a pirate and it'll write it in the voice of a pirate. So a um, couple other things I did was I told it to give me some real estate marketing ideas. I said, I need YouTube video topics, which can be also used for blogs 
and it gave me 10 of them. And then I said, hey, can I get another 10? And it gave me another 10. And then I told it, I need YouTube video topic ideas and titles to help attract more real estate agents to my team. So it gave me those. So anything that you need, you can go through and you can do that. So a couple things to note, make sure you're giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the content. This is how it's gonna know if it delivered great content. And the other thing too is, let's say that you didn't like the result or you didn't give it enough information, you can edit this and then it'll redo um, it as well. But it saves it in a chat conversation and you can find it over here and so on. So um, let me go back to the one thing that I did for today is I told it to um, give me right here, write a blog article about five reasons people should move to Houston. It did that. And then I told it to expound on po um, point number one, okay? And um, on point number one was about job opportunities, and I felt like it wasn't enough information. So now here it gave me three paragraphs instead, okay? And then I told it to give me a list of blog articles. There, it gave me a list of blog articles. And then what's really cool, when you get the blog article that you like, you can say, please write a blog article on point number whatever above. And it wrote me a blog article. Now, one thing I would include when you tell it to write blog articles is like the number of words and things It'd be a little more specific. But I wanted to do one thing in real time. And I'm going to tell it, please make me a 60 second TikTok video script about the top three authentic Mexican street taco places. Boom, here we go. And the cool thing about this is like, hey, TikTok fam, are you looking for the best Mex uh, authentic Mexican street tacos in town? Look no further because I've got the top three places for you to check out. And it literally puts, and these are actually places here that are pretty decent. And so there you go. And then even if it's not a place you want to mention, you could swap it out and use the same similar language. But it kind of gets you started in that creative process, especially if you don't know where to go with TikToks, Reels, or blogs. So I encourage you to go get a free account, especially why it's free, because uh, I know they're going to be start charging soon, uh, I would imagine. And uh, start playing with it. And remember, give it more detail, the better. But this can be for any industry anything. If you need to write a letter to somebody, you know how to do it, feed it the information, it will do it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Like I said, I will be doing more videos. Um, if you found this helpful, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I have a new video and training available. And if there's anything that you want me to cover uh, via real estate marketing, marketing, being a real estate agent, um, place it down in the comments below so I can know what you're looking for. And um, make sure, again, that you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.